Well, the first time I heard about Deans for Impact, I, I heard about an organization that was really interested in, interested in making a huge impact on the field of teacher preparation as a whole. And I've known for a long time that the field of teacher preparation needs some transformation. I felt isolated, and once I joined Deans for Impact, I really felt like I had a community and a network of deans that I could uh, rely on, communicate with, um, talk with at different times. What Deans for Impact has done is encouraged me to, and given, given me some, uh, a broader perspective of how to move these ideas forward. There's not one time I've come here I haven't walked away with something concrete and haven't had my thinking pushed a little bit. There are no curmudgeons sitting here. There are no naysayers sitting here. I mean, these are people who really embrace change and ideas and are thinking about things differently. And the collective wisdom of this group is really outstanding. We're a variety of organizations, all the way from very alternate route, very practice-based, to very um, research one institutions. And I think while our contexts are different, we can really learn from each other. Uh, even though I feel like I was focused before, I'm much more focused on data and evidence. Really um, trying to uh, ask ourselves, um, what data or evidence do we have for making this particular decision in our educator preparation program? We're not going to make any move, for example, if we don't have a culture of inquiry, a culture of looking at data to make informed decisions in our teacher preparation programs. It seems to have a very proactive approach to thinking about how do we improve teacher preparation. So it really is focused on looking at um, our reality and thinking about what are those things that we need to be doing in order to move forward. I think Deans for Impact really represents this philosophy about how can we utilize some guiding principles, help us think about what we do, and always focus on how we can get better. And what does that mean for each of us? And then collectively, how can we, uh, a larger group of people, get better to really impact the learning outcomes of students in our schools?